Hi, welcome to another video from What's Wappler. In this video, I will show you how you can create reusable components in your app. Components are independent and reusable parts of your app. In Wappler, we call them partials. A partial can contain a paragraph, a block of visual elements, or a group of queries. Without getting into too many details, let's create our first partial. In the Site Manager panel, select the Partials folder and click the plus button. Make sure the type of page you are creating is a partial. If you mistakenly clicked another folder before clicking the plus button, switch the type to partial, name it my partial and click save. Now our partial is created and its page is automatically opened. On this page we can add and remove elements for our partial, but first, let's choose the layout page for our partial. Add some elements to the page. Now our partial is ready to be used on all our pages. I will add a new page to test our new partial on. On the page click the plus icon, search for partial, click it, in the partial property select the partial we just created. Save and reload the page. The elements should appear on the page. Preview the page in the browser. Awesome. Now let's change the content of our partial to a form. The form will be generated with an API action I already created on the back end. I will delete the content on the page and add a form to the page with a form generator. Now the form is generated and added to the page. I would like to show a success notification when this form is submitted successfully. I already added a notification element to the layout page that the partial is using. This is the layout page we selected when we created the partial. Note, you don't need to create layout pages for your partials. They can share the same layout page with your content pages. Reload the playground page. You can see that our partial is updated. This is one of the benefits of using partials. Awesome. Everything works perfectly. That's not all. We can access data in the partial on our page. Add a variable to the playground page set its ID to var and set its value to 1. In the partial also add a variable and set its ID to var2 and set its value to 2.
Now bind the form input value to the variable var2. Now go to the playground page, you will notice the form input has the value 2, this comes from the variable value. Add a paragraph to the page and bind its inner text to the variable var2 value, this is the variable in our partial, you can also bind to the form data. We can bind to any element in the partial. Now the form input and the paragraph has same value. Change the ID of the variable in the playground page to var2, shuffle the page elements, you will observe that the value of the form input and the value of the paragraph change. This is because the partial can use data on our content page just as our page can use data in the partial. In this case the variable ID in the partial and our page is the same and this has resulted in duplicate IDs. All IDs in the page must be unique. Since our partial is now part of the page, we have to make sure all our IDs in the partial the content page, and the layout page are unique. To avoid these kinds of issues make sure all your IDs in the partial, the content page, and the layout page are unique. Let's continue. I will bind the paragraph inner text to the current user's first name and last name. The data will come from the layout page. Click the paragraph and convert it to a partial, give it a name and click save, reload the page, the paragraph should now appear as a partial. Go to the partials folder in the site manager, you should see our newly created partial. You can convert any element on your page to a partial. You can find them in the partials folder. Toggle app connect mode to see the paragraph. Now we are going to use this partial on another page. I should see the current user's first name and last name. We will see the binded data because the data comes from the layout page. Awesome. Don't forget to always choose the layout page for your partials in case you want to use data from the layout page in your partials. Let's create a new partial with another data source. Our new partial will be a paragraph.
Convert the paragraph to a partial. I will go back to the dashboard page and change the partial I previously added to the new partial I just created. Let's preview the page. We can't see the partial content. That's because its dynamic content is not available on this page. The data it needs access to is on the playground page. In order to see our dynamic data, we need to copy the server connect query to the dashboard page. Awesome. Partials can help you save time when building your app, especially if you understand how they work. Remember partials do not have to contain large blocks of elements, I am sure you will figure out a use case for your app. Click the like button if this video is meaningful to you, subscribe if you haven't and click on the bell icon so you don't miss future videos. Thanks for watching.